hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a chatty get ready with me testing tons of new products and creating this look that you guys see here I am going to be playing around with products from the drugstore. I did a huge new at the drugstore or just drugstore haul on my channel. It was the video before this, so I will have it linked in the eye above if you are interested. And I have also been announced as a member of the 2021 Sephora squad, which is huge. I will share more details about that with you guys later on. But as a part of that role, I have been receiving a ton of PR from various Sephora brands and I have some of that to play around with and share with you guys today as well as just some new products that I myself personally have picked up from Sephora to try out. So we have a lot of new makeup to play with and go through lots of stuff that I ended up really, really loving. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look and my thoughts on tons of new makeup, both drugstore and Sephora, then just keep on watching. So I do have a new primer to try out today. This is one that I hauled in my drugstore haul. My most recent video before this, I'll link it in the eye above in case you missed it. Hauling huge drugstore haul of new at the drugstore stuff and also just stuff that I picked up at the drugstore that is new to me. So this is a newer product, I believe definitely new to me. This is the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer Ultimate Dewy Finish Base. The last thing that I need, honestly, is a hydrating, dewy, glowy primer, but I just love trying new ones, and I've never, I haven't tried much of Makeup Revolution's complexion, um, and this one just caught my eye. I like the idea of, like, a glass skin primer. It's a very interesting consistency. It almost feels like a serum, like a, like a silicone hair serum almost. It feels like a hair serum. Very interesting. Okay, if you have oily skin, you probably won't like this, but my absolutely favorite holy grail primer is an oil. It's the Lila B Aglow Priming Oil. It's very expensive, but I've repurchased it multiple, multiple times. I always talk about it on my channel, and this is giving the skin a kind of similar finish. It's definitely more hydrating than I thought that it would be. I thought it would be more of like a tacky primer um, that kind of sat on top of the skin and just created like a tacky base, but this feels very oily, and it it feels like it's really penetrating into the skin and hydrating um, as well as giving like a glowy finish obviously. So here is how the skin is looking with that primer on. I think it looks really really nice. I would be interested though to know the ingredients. I got rid of the packaging and I don't have my phone here with me so I'll have to look up the ingredients but because it is so feels so hydrating and nourishing and it is going to penetrate the skin deeper than some primers I would assume just because it's an oil I want to make sure that the ingredients are good so I'll keep an update I'll update you guys on the ingredients and if this breaks me out at all because that would be my only concern um, but I do really really like the finish that it gives the skin it's not tacky because it is an oil it's just kind of oily to the touch but I think my skin looks really really nice very hydrated so so far so good I like that as a base not what I thought it was gonna be but I definitely am liking it for foundation or like main complexion I have another new product this I forgot to include in my drugstore haul actually, but I did pick it up recently. Still haven't tried it. This is the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. I purchased mine in Universal Light. We'll see how it goes with the primer. We're going to be super, super oily and dewy and glowy. And I'm just going to blend that out and in with my Sephora collection sponge. All right, definitely very sheer. You can hardly see a difference between the two sides and it is a very oily consistency as well. I'm all for a light coverage, but if it's so light to the point that it doesn't conceal anything or even at redness or anything, I don't really see a point. It's kind of a waste of a step. I rather just spot conceal at that point. Here's how it is a little bit more built up on that side. So it did reduce the redness. For sure, you can see there's more redness on this side, but it didn't conceal anything. It's just going to 
reduce redness or like slight discoloration and even out the complexion just the slightest little bit i don't know how i feel about this i might have to try it like on a day where i don't have so much scarring or try it mixed in with a foundation to give more of like a glow and sheer it out a bit but i'm definitely liking how it's sitting on top of the primer for sure i think it looks really good really seamless very healthy so now i'm going to go in with tarte shape tape pretty well all over the face because I have a ton of scarring right now and I do want a rather full coverage look for today. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal any and all breakouts, discoloration that I have, pretty much everything as I said. And Tarte Shape Tape is not a new product to me. I used to order it online from Tarte because it's not available in Canada or wasn't previously available in Canada up until a few weeks ago. But it has launched in Sephora, so definitely go pick it up. I'm so happy that I finally have this product to refer to clients in store because the amount of people that come in asking for it, not knowing it wasn't previously available, crazy amounts of people. So I'm really, really glad that we have this now. Great product if you've never tried it. Very full coverage, pretty heavy on the skin as well. But if you're pairing it with something more lightweight, like a serum foundation or serum like Tinted BB, any type of lightweight complexion product, um, it's gonna work really well with that. And this is not only going to add coverage and help even out the skin tone, but it's also going to reduce a little bit of that oiliness to the skin because it is more of like a soft matte finish. Really happy with the coverage that we got from that concealer and I really, really like the finish of the concealer and the complexion product on top of the primer. I'm very excited about that primer. I think my skin looks really, really good and healthy. Now it is time to go in with some of the new Makeup by Mario products. I have this and then, which is the contour stick, and then I also have his uh, highlighter. So we'll use that a bit later, but I'm going to go in with my cream products first, then we're going to do powder products. So this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick, and I got mine in light, which is the lightest shade that he has. Looks like this, quite a light contour, um, and I have been using this for about four days now. I think I've done my makeup four times with it and I've been really, really enjoying it. I also really like the brush that it comes with. So I have been using this just as Makeup by Mario says to use it in his demo videos. So you apply it directly to the face and then you use the brush to blend it and just pat it instead of like actual blending buffing motions. Go like that. Then I might apply a bit to my nose later as well. Um, it does take a hot minute to blend <laughs> using this technique, but that's okay. Just trust the process. And when blending, I like to pull the product a bit up the temple as well. Definitely applied too much, but that's okay. We're gonna trust the process and just keep blending. Brought it too low on this side too. This one's a bit higher. Same thing with the forehead bronze. I like to bring it down the temple as well. Okay, and now that I've mostly blended it with the brush, I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge. I'm very aware that I brought it too far down on this side. Should be more like this, um, but I can go in with a bit of concealer down there to shape it up. I just love the color of this. I love the consistency. I love the blendability, everything about it. He did a really good job with these contour sticks. And I am going to do a little bit of a nose contour. I don't normally do that. It's more of just like a bronze. I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of my shape tape just because I brought that too far down. I'm not used to doing it like in the viewfinder. I'm used to just being close to my mirror and seeing exactly how far down or how high up it needs to be. That definitely fixed it a bit. I just love how subtle the contour is. I like to go over and we are going to go over with a bit of bronzer after. I just love how subtle it is. The finish on the skin is gorgeous. Now we have one more cream product to go in with before we go in to powders. This is the new Pixie on the Glow Blush. They send these over to me. This is the Tinted Moisture Stick. Um, it came out in three shades. This is the shade Fleur. You can use it on the cheeks, on the lips. It's going to be a little bit more of a sheer, buildable color, I think, just based on swatches. So I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand first. 
and just go in with my beauty sponge i think will be the easiest oh it's not as sheer as i thought it was going to be so that is the color super super pretty that's like my perfect pink you guys now and i'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge and apply that to the cheeks it is more sheer on the skin for sure very subtle that's like i used all the product and you can kind of barely see it i'm just gonna apply it right to the face I've been taking my blush a bit higher lately, like more on the temples than the apples of the cheeks. Still very subtle. Yeah, this is definitely quite sheer, but definitely buildable. That is all of the base products and all of the cream products completed on the skin. I'm honestly in love with how the skin looks. Hopefully you guys can tell on camera but it's so glowy and dewy and healthy and like natural skin looking so i'm hesitant to set with powder but i do have some other powder products that i want to go in with and share with you guys that are newer so we're just gonna go in and apply a small amount and then build it up and see how we feel about it so for face powder i have i actually purchased this a few weeks back and i haven't like shared my thoughts with you guys this is the kosas their um cloud set powder i purchased mine in the shade airy which is the latest shade. Really, really been liking this. And I'm going to use the NYX brush that I hauled in my drugstore haul. I've absolutely been loving this for powder. This is the NYX, the number three. You can use it for foundation, like liquid cream foundation as well, but I really like it for powder. So I'm just going to swirl the brush around and press it into the skin really, really lightly. If you have dry skin like me or just don't like powder products whatever this is such a nice powder you can kind of see there it doesn't look like anything on the skin it doesn't really change the actual feel of the skin it just changes the finish of the skin so you can see here we have like the glow and the dew and the healthy and then here it's still like dewy and healthy but it's just a little bit more modified and a little bit more blurred um and the bit of powder makes it like more transfer resistant as well with masks and stuff so it's a really really nice powder option for those of you like me who don't really like the look of powder on the skin or the finish of powder on the skin we have lost a little bit of our sculpting dimension it's still there a little bit but it's a little more subtle than i like i like a little bit more of a heavy more obvious bronze um and a pr company sent over a bunch of stuff um who represents nars so they sent over this new summer solstice cheek duo from nars super super gorgeous you have a little highlight there and then the shimmery bronzing powder i'm just gonna swirl it together i haven't used this yet i literally got it received it this morning um, but it looks really pretty. So I'm going to go in with this to kind of set our bronze, refresh the bronze. It has a definite shimmer to it, which is actually really nice for this look. And I'm okay with a bit of shimmer in my bronzer anyway. Not even shimmer, just like a little bit of a sheen. Keeps it looking more skin-like, which is perfect for this look. This is so nice and smoothing on the skin too, I feel. Wow, I really, really like the tone and the finish of that. I could tell from swatching it that I was going to like it, um, which is why I decided to use it just like right away today. That is going to be my favorite bronzer for summer. I'm telling you right now, that looks really, really pretty. Now for highlighter, I picked up one of the Makeup by Mario highlighters. This is his Soft Glow Highlighter Formulation, and I picked up Pearl, which I believe is the second latest shade. Has more of like a gold pink shift rather than like an icy shift. Um, I've been liking this. I don't think it's anything like extraordinary. I don't think it's a favorite as of yet. I've definitely been preferring the bronzer out of his new complexion launches, but um, I've definitely been liking this. I've been enjoying it, but I'm not blown away. So I'll show you how it looks on the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe R36. And just like my blush, I've been taking my highlight more up in this area. And I've been really liking it. 
We've kind of also lost the blush along the way. I don't know how I feel about that pixie blush. I just feel like it's not pigmented enough for what I like. I like a heavy blush. I like a noticeable blush. So I don't know. I'll keep playing with it, but it's definitely not shining through as much as I would like it to. So I'm going to go in with a powder instead to set. This is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade I believe it's so shy. I ripped off the packaging, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's so shy. I will have all these products linked down below. Um, and I hauled this in my drugstore haul, so I'm just gonna go in with my favorite blush brush, the Sephora Pro 93. This is like my favorite kind of pink, very similar coloring to the Pixi one, just probably a lot more pigmented. I have not tried this yet, but people rave about this Burt's Bees blush formulation, so figured I had to try it. Doesn't have any type of shimmer or sheen. Again, keeping the blush a little bit higher on the face, on the temples. Definitely a good blush. Um, I'll keep playing around with that as well. But I think the complexion is looking absolutely fantastic. I think I might have like discounted that NYX skin tint a little too early because it's looking incredible as the base definitely loving the primer my skin just looks so like flawless and healthy and smooth even though my skin's not the best right now so really really liking the base combination of products so for brows i was sent a really big pr package from rare beauty very kind very overwhelming to get that and they sent over two of their brow shades um, I find that warm brown is a better match for me. I find the cool taupe that they sent just a little too cool for me. So I've been using the warm brown instead. So they sent, this is the brow harmony and warm brown. You have like your brow, brow definer, Anastasia type shape, like a teardrop. Very, very creamy pigmented formulation. I don't know how I feel about that pencil portion, but I've really been liking the brow gel, the tinted brow gel. Very, very pigmented and very wet. So you have to be careful with both of these products. You really have to, I wouldn't say these products are goof proof. I think you have to be a little bit more precise and careful when working with them, but I've still been enjoying them, just a learning curve. I've only had them for a few days now. And then from my drugstore haul, I also have the Essence Micro Precise Brow Pencil in 01 Blonde. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to first go in with this to just kind of define, fill. So that's how one brow looks, just lightly filled in with the Essence Micro Precise. Really nice and easy to work with. And then that is one without. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then go in with the Rare Gel. I think I'm gonna like this product a little more as it dries out. It's just a bit too wet, my preference and it's really pigmented, so you just have to be a bit more careful where you place it. Um, but I definitely like the color and I love the size of this brow brush. I think it's such a great size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush kind of up and outwards, get that like fluffier brow look. I feel like that applied a bit more product than I would have liked to. So I'm just gonna go in with a plain spoolie and brush it through a few times to neutralize the pigment or just like spread it out a bit more. For lip products, I'm going to go in with a combo that I picked up in my drugstore haul. So I haven't tried either of these yet. For the base, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Joyful. This looks really, really pretty. Honestly, the packaging got me with this one because there's a little hydrating core of a heart. So cute. So I'm just going to go in with this. Really nice color payoff for like a sheer lip balm. I think that's really pretty. And then we're going to go in with another lip balm, technically lip gloss balm. This is the Catrice Powerful Launch, their liquid lip balm. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, shea butter, green tea, and goji berry. And I picked up two of them, but this one is in the shade Fresh Acai Berry. Just a super, super pretty like mid-tone pink. Goes with the blush very well. You guys know these are my favorite colors to wear on the lips. So 
I think I'll like this a lot. That feels so good on the lips. You definitely don't need to go in with like both of these products. You can 100% use this on its own and I'm sure it would be quite pigmented. I just want to use as many products as I can. Definitely a pretty combo. It goes really well with the cheek color as well. Okay, now we are ready to go in with eyes and I'm so excited because I've been using this product for a few days now and I've been absolutely in love with it. This is the new Patrick Ta packaging is insane. Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, his first eyeshadow formulation launch. It is just like the dream nude palette. I, it's expensive. I'll link it down below. It's like 87 Canadian dollars or something crazy, but it's worth it. I've been using it every single day and I'm not even really an eyeshadow person. So that says a lot. You get two cream shadows, which I haven't tried. I'm going to try them today. You got half mattes, half shimmers. The shimmers are insane. This one in particular, they don't have names, but like the rose gold has been my favorite. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go in with the lighter of the two, which is like a light, light brown. And I'm taking it on the Sephora Pro Crease 19. Typically this is like a powder brush. I don't know how well this is going to work for cream, but, um, a lot of my eye brushes are dirty at the moment. I desperately need to clean my brushes. Might happen tonight, might not. So I'm just using this. Very pigmented, very creamy. I think I'm just gonna apply it with this brush and then blend it out with a different brush. Then with my NYX, just like fluffy crease brush, this looks relatively clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. Blended super, super easily. I like that color. I'm pretty much just going to bring it all over the lid. I'm now going to go in with this like pretty shimmery rose gold shade, the one that I've been using pretty much every day. And I'm going to apply that firstly just with my finger. And then to like perfect the edges a bit, I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Shader 18, mainly for like the inner corner. It's just gorgeous on its own. You can see it speaks for itself. It's so pretty. Here's how the shadow is looking. So pretty, so easy and effortless. I'm obsessed with this palette. If you've been debating it and think it's too expensive or think you have too many neutrals, I honestly think it's worth it for the formulation and the ease of use. I just absolutely love it. I think it's such a great like color selection as well. Now I'm going to go in with a liner. I purchased this guy myself. It is the Too Faced Killer Liner in the shade Cas cashmere killer cashmere it's just like their soft nude like a matte cream nude you can barely see it because i'm so pale but i'm just going to run this along the lower lash line to brighten up the under eye and then we'll go in with mascara this is actually my first time using this liner but look at the difference so pigmented so creamy and easy to use i've been wanting to try out this formula from too faced it's relatively new, launched around the winter, I believe, but super, super nice, especially if you want like a matte nude. That is gorgeous. Then lastly, to finish off this I Look Sephora Squad sent over the new Sephora Collection Mascara, which I've been very curious about. Looks really pretty. It looks like a kind of wet formula, but it doesn't clump to the wand at all. The like suction at the top pulls off the product nicely, so I think I'm going to like this. Have not tried it yet, so I'm going to apply it to my top lashes, really, really coating them up. I definitely like that. It gives a lot of volume and a lot of definition. Um, very like fluttery, not too clumpy at all. Really, really easy to apply. So that is one eye with the mascara and one eye without. Definitely more volume than I'm used to, which I'm not mad at. And then for lower lashes, I'm going to go in with like the only mascara I trust on my lower lashes, which is the Glossier Lash Slick. I also really like the Maybelline Sky High on my lower lashes. Very similar formula and they don't transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and coat my lower lashes with this. Out of the brand new products that I've tried in today's video that I hadn't previously tried, I'm very, very impressed with the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer. I think my makeup looks as good as it does and as healthy and dewy and natural as it does because of this primer. So I'm definitely gonna try this out with some different foundation and complexion products. And I also was very, very impressed with the NARS Bronzing Powder. I believe this is a limited edition product 
product, their Summer Solstice Cheek Duo. Technically it's a highlighter and a bronzer. The highlight's a bit too dark for me, so I just mix the whole thing together to get a luminous bronze, and I think it looks fantastic. So out of the very first impressions, I would say these two are like my top. And then out of the products that I had already previously tried but would definitely recommend, the Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. I think if there's anything from this recent launch that he did, from the reviews I've seen from people reviewing the whole line, I think this is the standout product, at least for me. I'm definitely loving this a lot. Um, I just think it's so blendable, creamy. The colors are great. I love the brush that it comes with. Great quality. So very, very impressed with that. I've been loving the Kosas powder. You guys saw how it performed. If you have dry skin or you don't love powder, I highly, highly recommend recommend that you try this. And then the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I'm sure you guys will see this in lots of videos to come. I'm just absolutely obsessed with it for like the everyday look that you guys know I like. This is amazing. Now I've pretty much tried on and off camera every shade in the palette and I'm very, very impressed. And then there's some products that I'm not too sure about on first impression. I'm not obsessed. The Pixie on the Glow Blush. I just think for me, this might be too sheer. I'll play around with it a bit more and maybe try the darker shades. There's like a darker red and a bright orange shade. So I'll try those, but I think this one I will end up giving to a friend. It's just too sheer, too light. I have so many cream blushes that I love. I'm gonna do a full video like roundup of every single cream blush that I own, how it applies, my thoughts, etc. because I have so many. Um, so yeah, I think this is a pass for me as of now, but I will keep playing with it. The NYX Bear With Me Luminous serum I wasn't impressed with right off the bat just because it didn't give the coverage that I'm accustomed to but I think that my skin looks absolutely incredible so I definitely want to try this a bit more on its own as well as mixed in with other foundations that I know and love to kind of sheer it out add some luminosity I think this might be a great mixing product and then everything else that I used in the video is pretty much just like middle ground I think the Sephora mascara was good I think the lip products are good the makeup by Mario highlights good just like not standouts that is everything that I have for you guys today if you did enjoy this video please do be sure to give it a like a thumbs up it really helps me out lets me know what kind of videos you guys like to see most so I can film more of those for you comment down below your favorite new products if you've tried any of these products your thoughts if there are any products either drugstore or high-end from Sephora that you've been eyeing and are curious about want to see reviews on let me know I'd love to chit chat with you guys down below and as always I hope that you guys either have or had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye